My name is Sophie T and I am an abstract artist and I operate mainly on Instagram. I've always been interested in painting and art. I've always done it throughout school. Um, but I'd say that I properly got into it when I left university. So I studied business and then I went traveling to India. And I remember there was this like hostel with loads of graffiti on the wall. And I said to the manager if I could paint in return for free stay. And he said yes. And that was the first time that I had painted since I was about 16. And I just like fell in love all over again, to be honest. And that was when I decided like, I need to pursue a creative career. I came back from India, was like, I'm going to be an artist. This is going to be great. Oh God, how am I going to earn money from this? I saw that there was a huge demand for original art because after I posted a picture of me painting in India, it was actually like a multicolored cow. I then um, got loads of commission requests from my friends and family. And they were like, we didn't had no idea you could paint. Like, could you paint a picture of my dog in the same colors? Or I love giraffes, can I have that? So after getting some traction there, still like living and earning a living as an artist is still so hard because at the start like what do you charge for your art like you're just completely making it up and you need to pay your rent at the end of the day and also if everyone's your friend that's buying off you initially and they're saying mates rates and you're like well I've got to make a living like so it's a very it was a difficult kind of slow start but I guess from gradually gradually like building traction for my friends and like sharing the entire journey on social media I kind of built up this kind of perception that it was going well and we were producing lots of art and then I started to get interest from people that I'd never met before. I would say that like my lessons about art have been completely experimental. They've been in this like the studio complex, like we've got a massive amazing studio now, but we're in the same complex in a tiny, awful one, like when we first started. And um, I say we've got a team now, obviously when I first started, it was just me till three o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm still learning about it. And, but I don't really wanna know that much about what other artists' path to success has been because, you know, we wanna, I wanna make it up as I go along because that's the fun, that's the fun of it. I still have like two big inspirations. Like as an artist, um, Tracy Emin, like she's like one of the most famous British artists. Well, probably is the most famous British artist and is known on an international level. And she did a piece called My Bed and basically it got like so much criticism and um, people would say, oh, I could do that. And her response was, three words, but you didn't. And I just think that's so powerful because it's all about action and all about just like putting yourself out there and going for it. So kind of that ethos is something I really do live by, like just, just doing stuff. Um, my second would be a, friend, a really good friend of mine, um, Jenna, who runs the Gypsy Shrine. And basically that's just a glitter company. And we kind of set up our businesses at the same time. And we've really been there for each other in the highs and lows. And she has amazing news and I'm over the moon for her but also like completely like I want that too like let's I want more do you know what I mean so like she's a massive help support but also like a huge inspiration for me the most important thing that I'm trying to put across to the world I guess is that just say yes and there's a thing like buy the art like have the drink like just be happy <laughs> for now I mean maybe like in five years time I'll like grow up and like want to like project something else but like right now like this is where I'm at and that, that's okay a current art world trend that I am following and also want to dip my feet into so badly and will do in this collaboration with John Cullen is producing neons within my work. So I really want to make the most of using light, especially um, with you guys. So having a neon quote, we don't, I don't actually know what I'm going to make the neon into, but definitely overlaying the base of abstract, we're gonna push through a neon 
light. And I, I can't wait to see that because it's been something on my list for so long.